be um, practicing a guided meditation together in which we will enter most fully into conversation with the spirit that moves among us and dwells in us. Tracy will begin our worship tonight with uh, a reading of Psalm 148 one more time. And I ask that as you listen to it this time around, that you look for that word or phrase that sticks out for you in some way, has some kind of energy behind it. You don't have to know why. You just have to feel it or see it. And if you hold that out and think about that as Tracy finishes reading, you can use that as part of your content that you'll be thinking about in the midst of the guided meditation. Let's listen to Psalm 148, verses 1 through 10. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise God in the heights. Praise God, all God's angels. Praise God, all God's host. Praise God, sun and moon. Praise God, all you shining stars. Praise God, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for God commanded and they were created. God established them forever and ever. God fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling God's command, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds. This kind of contemplation that we'll be participating with together requires a lot of blank spaces, a lot of open spots for the spirit to participate with us in our contemplation. I'm asking that you look for a quiet spot, a place that's comfortable, um, a place that allows you to enter most fully into this conversation. Eric loves to be able to say that uh, most of our spiritual practices mean that we just need to show up and be a part of it. So that's what we're inviting you to do with us today. Let's take a deep breath in and begin by letting it out slowly and leaving behind anything that might stand in the way of us experiencing the spirit among us today and contemplating most seriously those things that give us joy and energy and connect us to all of creation.
We ask that you now enter into a little bit deeper spot, a place where there are no judgments, no fears, no frustrations, a safe and quiet spot within you where you can be most fully who you are. While you're in your spot, the safe place with no distractions, tell God your heart's <laughs> desires. Share with God your struggles. Be most fully present in this spot.
as you share your heart's desires. Remember the word or phrase that stuck out for you in our Numa text today. Lay that word or phrase alongside your heart's desire. What wisdom is shared? What does the energy of each have to give to each other? Finally, in your closing time here, think over the last 24 to 48 hours and think of those things which you are grateful for, gifts from God for which you can give thanks. All these things we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I hope you will consider sharing some of your experiences in our meditation together tonight. You can share on the chat room and Cynthia will be able to share those responses after our communion. Or for those of you in the coffee house, please just let Tracy know that you'd like to share your experience with all of us. In sharing our experiences with one another, we give witness to all the possibilities of how the Spirit moves within us and dwells with us as a community and individually in our hearts. 
So I hope that you will consider sharing your stories of the experience of the spirit of awesomeness in our lives, the spirit of amazement and astonishment that Phyllis talks about. It's every day in our lives together, and it comes together in words of creation and awe and wonder, like our psalmist spoke about tonight. For me, one of the, the phrases that stuck out for me in our Numa Divina tonight was verse 5. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for God commanded, and they were created. It seems to me that much of our life is spent in a doxological kind of response to God, to creation, to being a part of all that is. We were commanded to, cre to live, to love, to celebrate, and to be a part of all things in relationship with all things. And in that, we share not only the joy of the Spirit in our lives together, but also be able to maintain ourselves and our joys through all the struggles that we face together. In the love of God, we come at our struggles and our conflicts in a whole new place. And we are able to see our way through as a community of faith, confident in the love of God. Because God knows our struggles. Through the cross of Jesus Christ, God is aware of pain and suffering. And in the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, broke it, gave thanks and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And again after supper he took the cup and said, this cup is a new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people. As often as you eat of this bread and drink from this cup, you do this in remembrance of me. And this celebration of life continues and the reiterations of life come through new life from death. In this remembrance meal we are celebrating the renewal of life, the constant expanding of life in a way that um, becomes deeper and more complex and connects us even more closely with one another and with God. We celebrate that every time we celebrate this meal. So I invite you to share with us the gifts of God for the people of God.
Cynthia Lindemeyer has been monitoring the responses in the room. And Cynthia, do you have an experience from the chat room that you'd like to share with us? Well, the chat room is all very unified in saying that the band is terrific and wonderful <laughs> and brings a great aspect to worship. And um, it seems like the theme was that people just found peace in tonight's message or the psalm. Well, this is a place of safety and a place where we can share our experiences with one another. So whether you feel comfortable sharing them here and now in our chat room or if you think about them as you reflect back on them, um, I hope that you will maybe share some of that on our websites and our comments, um, in our blogs, or uh, on our Facebook sites. because. The ongoing conversation of life together is why we come together in convergence. So now, my friends, may the spirit of the living God, known to us most fully through Jesus Christ our Lord, go above you to watch over you, go before you to sh show you the way, to go behind you to push you into places where you would not necessarily go on your own, to go beneath you to uphold you and to uplift you, to walk beside you, to be your constant and strong companion, and to dwell inside you so that you know that you are loved, loved beyond your wildest imagination, especially when you find yourself in France celebrating your 50th birthday. <laughs> and may the fire of God's blessing burn brightly upon you and within you, now and always. Happy birthday, Eric. Good night. Thank you.